to the barn and turned off to the house. I made it down to the to the little intersection there by the barn, by the uh, dairy. <coughs> and uh, turned around, rode back to the house with it. And so I just kept making that. I'd stop, turn it around, and uh, head back the other way. And after a while, I was down by the barn with it, and uh, I see Mom coming down the road, fixing to turn in. And I get, I just take off back to the house, <laughs> roll up and get off of it, leaned it up to the side of the back porch, and. Uh, she got to the house and they get out of the car and she says, riding a bicycle. <laughs> I said, hmm. <laughs> Ta -da. It wasn't any big deal. I didn't realize that there's people that spend a lifetime trying to learn to ride. Yeah. You know, one of the coolest maneuvers I ever did. I didn't at the time think of it as a maneuver. Yeah. I'm riding down the street in Hobbs, and the cars are stopping for the light. And I see this kid about three cars ahead of me. And I'm in the bicycle, on the bicycle, and, and I see his weaselly little face looking in the mirror. <laughs> and I could see movement. And I knew the door was coming. Oh. He opened swung that door, and I sat down on my brakes. My brake. Yeah. Slid the tire sideways, <laughs> and I was still upright. The timing and everything hit just right, and I pushed the pedal and went around them on the other side. Nice. Never put a foot down or anything. Kept my balance. Nice. So, what was the uh, that um? The t it wasn't a handbrake, right? It was no, the it back was just pedal. The, wheel, the, the old Bendix brake. Whatever they call it. The like the back pedal brake where you. The old fashioned. Yeah. You just on the chain, you know. But to hold my balance and do all that. So another time, I was coming down the sidewalk, and this woman had just made a parallel park and put her. Tires up against the curb, you know, so the wh the door was all the way in. Yeah. And I'm rolling down through there, and this kid, I see another little weasel's face <laughs> looking in the mirror, and he was just like that other one. You could just see the evil in his eyes. I'm going to get him at the door. <laughs> and I'm just like that. A pretty good sized kid, anyway. Yeah. I didn't have to do any break or anything. I just moved over. He didn't even open the door. So I just don't do it. <laughs> I decided not to. People will do that to you. That's ridiculous. I mean, the old joke that the fella says he stops on the road and picks this guy up. He's a preacher. His car broke down or something and he was hitching a ride. So he gets in with his truck driver and they're going down the road and getting close to, to the curb and the guy looks up ahead and sees uh, uh, 
sees a guy walking along the road, and this trucker's got big old mirrors hanging out there, you know, and he's he getting closer to the edge, and he says, but the guy, the truck driver, the joke is, the truck driver, I can't do that in front of this preacher. I better not hit that guy with a mirror. And uh, so he didn't, but then a thump, and uh, and uh, he looks over, and the guy says, it's all right, I got him with the door. <laughs> I don't tell that kind of joke very well, but that was a that was an old truck driver joke, apparently. <laughs> you need over here, Papa? I guess I'm going to have to go shoot. You know, it's... Uh, I thought about all those old cars that I've had that were such wonderful used cars that look so new. Yeah. So there we were. Teresa and I went and got our flying licenses. And we bought the Cessna. And it was an older Cessna. But airplanes are only old if you let them be old. Hmm. Because your maintenance, you know, every hundred hours, yeah, you have to have things checked. You get your hundred hour checkup. And you get your airframes checked for all the inspection plates. Check all the cables, the pulleys. All those things that keep you able to fly an airplane. Mm -hmm. And if you got one that hasn't flown in that hard of that rough of weather where you've always got, you know, real hard updraft, downdraft, turbulent weather, mm -hmm. and haven't uh, gone out and really abused it, like stressing it or trying to do aerobatics and stuff mm -hmm. uh, the plane we got has been taken well care of and of course your log books are checked and filled in by the mechanics mm -hmm. and they are really checked and governed well I mean they could lose their Licenses. Yeah. I mean, an airplane mechanic makes good money, and they uh, they can get a reputation and just have all kinds of people flying in from elsewhere to have their planes checked by them. Hmm. When we sold our plane, getting ready to come to, to salmon. We actually sold it for more than we gave for it. <laughs> and uh, it wasn't that much. Yeah. Because you can buy a decent airplane, four, five place, six place, uh, eight place, in those Cessnas. Funny. What I'm doing here is comparison, of, comparison a little bit of aircraft and yeah. cars. But I bought the only new car I ever had, the '58 Mercury. Mm -hmm. Had it for about 12, 14 months. And then was going to get married, so traded it off. <laughs> there went Latrice's new car. And so we moved, we we moved into our house. Uh, so I'd, I'd rather have a house, and so would she. Yeah. So we moved into a nice house in a nice neighborhood. It was only a two bedroom, largest lot on the block because the block came up, the street came up, circled, and went down.